Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zlot, and I'm here on the GTI Alpha 7 server. Uh, last episode you saw me go around to Oskatoon in the SV and um, mine some Arrestrium and there is a ton of Arrestrium and Zascosium down on that planet so I mined out that Arrestrium <clears throat> deposit and got like 10 stacks of ore from it so that'll that'll translate into like 20 stacks of anglets I also mined out a couple of Zascosium now they were a lot smaller and I ended up with like two and a half stacks per deposit that I got so I ended up with five stacks of ore for Zascosium but I'm not going to go through as much Zascosium so I've got that all spinning up right now you can see I still got lots of Prometheum I've got lots of Sathium, uh, the Arrestrium, and now I'm spinning up the Zascosium. You can see I've got it. It's kind of scattered in my smelter thing, but um, so those are spinning up now. Uh, at this point, we've got tons of Pentaxin also, and I believe the fuel tank is full too. Yeah. So, and we've got another stack of 300 in the in fuel here I'm pretty sure yeah so we've got lots of pentaxid now I think we need to continue on out of Oskatoon and look for a home because we still don't have a home we're just vagabonds so let's do that uh, I remember last time we could see a couple of asteroid fields and this one I know is leads to all the custom content that I've created on this server and this doesn't we can check out the regular asteroid field later I think we want to go to asteroid field beta so let's do that we're gonna lock targets into asteroid field beta and here we go get up to speed and warp. Okay, let's take a quick look at what we got here. So it looks like we get Promethium, Sathium, Zas, Pent, and Magnesium. Okay, well, wow, Pent, right? Yeah, there's Pent asteroids. So and aha it opens up into some more stuff we can go to the danger zone we can go to deep space or we can go to hidden sanctuary which is 18 oh just too far for an sv so only a cv can get there let's go to hidden sanctuary So we're not even going to mess around with the stuff in the orbit here. I'm not going to go map it out. We can do that a different episode. And uh, I know there's a big nasty POI in that asteroid field that I just don't want to deal with. So we're going to go to, it says wind, but it's actually, that's just the play field it's targeting. For some reason, I don't know why it does that. It, it chooses the first play field in the sector and names that as your... Uh, target lock which is kind of funky okay look at this here we go wow four planets and an asteroid field let's take a look and see what it's got and we've got cobalt silicone magnesium copper promethium iron sathium and neo in or so pretty much everything we're going to need except for arrestrium and zascosium so that's awesome. We can do some good mining in the asteroid field here. It's PVE, 200 degrees, so it's definitely doable. Um, well, that's cool. Let's let's just go into the asteroid field here. <clears throat> I 
Now, if you guys watched the last season on the GTI server, you'll recognize this play, this sector. And I had made a ginormous, well, it wasn't ginormous. We had a supply depot here out in space in between uh, dirt and the asteroid field. And I turned that into a into a huge space farm really it had over 500 grow plots and just and just food up the every type of thing that you could grow in like huge troves so you could just run through pick enough to make like 90 cans of vegetables <laughs> at once so it was it was really cool and I may do that again because it oh I can see resource asteroids in there. I can see one right there. And you'll notice there are no POIs. Hmm. I might as well mark them right now as, as I see them because this will be... I will be mining in here quite a bit. Especially once I get a drill for the CV, which is a few levels off still. I'll just take a quick cruise through. It's quite the thick asteroid field. Oh, there's some more. You can see silicone and yeah, lots of stuff. Iron and yeah, look at it all. We're just getting a lot. Of Lots and lots. So this is awesome. Oops. Get into the... Why isn't it? Oh, it was hidden. Okay. Cobalt. Neo. Iron. And I saw something else in there. Silicone. Okay. So they're all marked now, yep. The reason I tag them all, because then you know exactly where they are, that, though they always spawn in the same location, so it doesn't matter if you mine them out, they will uh, regenerate and it's, it's the same location every time, so I only have to mark these once. So this is going to be some awesome mining in here, considering that it's PvE, we don't have to worry about players killing us while we're mining. There's no POIs, so it's a little bit boring, but this will be great mining. Okay. So we can finish mapping this out later. I think what I want to do is... There's... Is that aqua? It says it's aqua. I don't think so. That's aqua over there. Okay, so I want to head to uh, this planet here. dirt. <laughs> I'm not very imaginative when it comes up with when I come up with names. So this will be the old style planet. Uh, Alpha 6. Alpha 5. Now there is water down there so I think that's where we want to go. go down to where there's water and check it out. So let's do that. And here we go, desert solitude. 
there's a nice size pond right there that's good and we'll come down into the we'll level off and there we go it's kind of flat there are some mountains but there's a large flat desert area here A little bit of rocky feature. So that's a nice big puddle right there. I don't want too many rocks and I don't need a huge pond. So this one might serve our purposes better. spiders okay well we've got critters to deal with on this planet and that's just something we're gonna have to deal with so there's spiders all over the place creepy just like everywhere oh my god okay well that's okay that's okay so I'm gonna just park the CV here. Just wondering where I should actually park because I want a nice flat area for the base. And it's just going to come up. It's going to go into the water a bit. So I think I'll expand out which way, which way. So I'll probably expand out. Hmm. Might be where I am parking right now. So let's go backwards. And we'll park. I think we'll park right here. And I'll just spin around. This is pretty much as good a place as any to... Lots of critters though. I'll have to get out and kill a bunch. Well, that's okay. That's okay. So. Let's land. Here we go. We're landed on dirt. So let's jump out and oh yeah, lots of critter noises. Great, great. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to get a base starter going. <clears throat> now I've already got tons of concrete blocks and other stuff, but I do need to make a starter. So let's get that crafting. And let's take a look at what else. Oh, you know what? Well, that's cooking. Let's see what we've got in the tech tree because I hit level 16. And we can unlock a bunch of stuff. So let's take a look at the shotgun because that was painfully obvious that I needed to do that. I also need to do the rocket launcher to unlock the minigun. And that way I can make bullets for the minigun. There we go. And then when I hit level 20, I can do the enhanced ones right off the bat. Okay, good. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to do the rocket launcher itself, the T2, if I want to expand to that. 
and the sniper yet. Let's take a look at our tools. We got an ore scanner. Hmm. I will have to learn that eventually because if I die and lose mine, I'll be screwed without it. Auto miner device. Not going to worry about that right now. Hover vehicle. I'm not going to worry about that. What I do want to make is the T2 laser drills eventually. Okay, so there's nothing there that I want to learn. And I'm not going to worry about rail guns. So SV stuff, there's nothing there that I really want to learn. Um, CV, sure. But let's take a look at the base, make sure we've got everything. So I actually do want to learn. Hmm. I don't know now. I should probably learn that. And what else? Repair bay. Ramp blocks, repair bay. Uh <coughs> What else in weapons can I do? Can't. Okay. Tools. Or you know what? Let's do the ore scanner. Portable work light. And the other portable work light. But it doesn't leave us much now for anything. We'll um we'll learn flares. Sure. There we go. Okay. Okay. So what else are we going to need? <clears throat> Let's take a look at our block situation. So I've got the grow plots ready to go from last base, so I just popped those out. We don't need a repair station. We're not going to need a hangar door. We've already got a repair bay. We've got a couple of T3 fuel tanks, T2 fuel tanks. We've got offline protection, but that'll go in the CV. Uh, ATM. That's HV artillery, HV, HV, HV stuff. That we can throw in the base. That can go in the base. That can. So we need. We're going to need constructors. And the deco. Um, okay. O2. Well, we won't need O2 tanks because this planet has O2. Okay. Uh, maybe some more windows, though, eh? Windows. So, windows. Um, constructors. The deco. Yeah, we'll have to make stuff as we do it, too. But, okay, so constructors. Let's get those going. I'm going to want, oh, we're going to need armor locker, so let's get, let's get, how many flux coils can we can, yeah, we can do it all. We've got enough to do, make whatever we know how to make. So, let's do this. We're going to make uh, one, two advanced constructors for sure. We're going to make a furnace. Uh, we're gonna need cargo boxes, so we're gonna make like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to start. We're gonna need. <coughs> we're gonna need a shutter door. We're gonna need a couple more regular doors. We're going to need a armor locker. We've got the repair station. We're going to need a medic station. We've got the O2 station, but we... So we'll, we'll make a couple of courtesy O2 tanks, I think. So what does that hold? It holds a thousand. That holds two thousand. So that one requires cobalt. 24 steel plate, mechanical components, energy matrix. Oh, 
what's the benefit of making a large one as opposed to two small ones? I'm not... Okay, let's do the math here, people. This, this seems like a stupid thing to, to make. Okay, so this take up, takes up two... It takes up a one by two by one. This is a one by one by one. So we could put two of these in the space that it takes up one of those. 1,002 and that's 2,000. So two of those make the same amount of O2 with the same amount of space. Now the cost is four mechanical components and 12 steel plate. Double that to make two of them. So eight mechanical components and 24 steel plate. One of these costs eight mechanical components, 24 steel plate, an energy matrix, and cobalt alloy. So you're actually spending cobalt for no benefit here. So I'm just going to make two of these. Hmm. I wonder if they... This should be higher volume. <clears throat> this should be like 2200 or something. Or maybe, you know, 3000 or something. Because that doesn't make economic sense to actually make those lower, large O2 tanks. Okay, we're going to make uh, one, two, three, at least three of the T2 fridges. And we've got a big generator to throw in, so we don't need a generator. Uh, we've got the food processor already. We don't need that. But we will need... We will need... Some more grow lights eventually. Actually, let's stop that. We're going to need regular lights. A bunch of those. We'll just at least make 10 for now. Okay, so what else? What else? I've got the hangar door already. I've got a bunch of elevator blocks. We might need some more, though. We'll queue up some more. I can always throw them into the factory if I make too many, right? So I'm not. That's why I'm not too worried about over making stuff. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I think that'll that'll get us where we need here. So let's grab our blocks. So our armored concrete and regular concrete blocks. We'll grab those. <coughs> Excuse me. And we'll just leave that stuff in there for now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. We looted an ATM. Okay. So, let's go out. <coughs> Excuse me. Got a frog in my throat again here. Just got to wash it down with some coffee. <coughs> my goodness. So, oh. okay, he's dead. Oh, you know what? I can turn the engines off now, can't I? So let's do that. We're going to actually turn the lights on, though. Oh, wait, that's hover box. What? Stop it. Oh, 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 meteorites. Meteorites falling. Nice. So we can take the HV out and test those too. See how the HV does on meteorites. That's awesome. Okay. <coughs> okay. Uh, okay, so let's continue here. Let's turn the engines off. We don't need them on. And I'm not going to have the turret shooting at anything. We can just turn those off for now. Let's. How much power did they take? A little bit. A little bit. We'll leave the lights on. We can leave the oxygen on. It doesn't really matter. Let's see if we... Okay, if we turn that off... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We probably... Oh, it filled it back up. But you can see we, we still have oxygen in here because the planet... Has a breathable atmosphere. OK. 
Come on. <clears throat> nice. I'm going to get jumped if I jump out, though. Here, let's let's drone it up. We'll we'll get the meat off these guys anyway. No sense letting it go to waste. So yeah, there's a lot of spiders here. <laughs> there is a lot of spiders here. What's in there? There is some stuff to pick on the planet too. You can see there's fiber. Okay. Okay. I think what I want to do is I want to take the hover box out anyway and do this from the hover box. So this will be the first time firing it up since actually Since I went in and turned the engines off, let's try. <laughs> okay. So we'll get out of here. Here we go. So this planet is like made for hover engine, hover vehicles. Look at all nice and flat and smooth. I don't really have to have a high hover height. Nice. around check out the planet a little bit here and what do we got there magnesium sure we'll give that a shot so we're gonna test out the uh, HV mining right now oops just go right up to it and start mining see it just it's grabbing it pretty quick Yep, this seems to be working really well. It's not quite as fast as the lasers, but not bad. Not like we actually need magnesium right now. I don't even think I have any uh, ammo that requires it. I'm not high enough level, but that's okay. I just want to see how much we get and how fast it actually takes to do it. You can see it's shrinking and shrinking. Mining meteorites with an HV rocks. It's like the easiest type of mining. And you can see how fast it is. So excellent. We're just Breaking in the resources. So this will be a good planet. Go scout around and and um, right. if we actually check to see what it gets, it gets iron, cobalt, copper, silicone, promethium, magnesium. Okay. Okay. So it's basically all the everything we need everything we need to actually even make a SV a warp capable SV magnesium is just kind of a bonus really and then out of the asteroid field in the orbit we have the C the Neo and Sath so yeah A 
came it down a little bit. So now that it's hard to steal, I might... Oh, it's not too bad. No, it's just not stuck is all. So can I, like, get onto it? No. So, so basically still, this thing is going to need some more RCSs in it now. I can do that later. I can do that off camera. I just want to get this mined out. So it seems like it's going really fast. I mean, look at the, look at down on the left, the, the stacks of stuff that keeps pulling. are acting all weird. Come on. I don't like T1 drills, but they're they're better than oh. see now it's having a problem. Come on. Come on. Laser is much easier. Laser drills. And come on, come on. That last little chunk, come on. Oh. I don't want to leave a little nodule because I want it to pop. There we go. Okay. So, let's take a look. That didn't take long at all, and, oops, go into our harvesting box, and, okay, so we got, uh, we got quite a bit, one and three quarter stacks, so when we need magnesium, we're going to have it, at least. Let's head back to the CV and try and figure out the best spot. So you can see the land slopes up over there quite a bit sharper. Same with there, it goes up quite a bit. So right here it looks like it stays flatter for further. I don't want to do a lot of digging. So I think, I think somewhere around here is going to be a good spot. So I can always step it up. Should I start it in the water so that I have the right depth? Yeah, I could do that. I could do that. So... Wow, that is a lot of spiders. I think I might have to deal with some of these really quick here.
Okay. Okay. So we'll jump out temporarily. We'll just drone it up. Let's get the meat off these guys at least. Oh, come on. Still has that weird bug where the first time when you go to open something in a while, it like closes the container on you as soon as you move the mouse. That has persisted since Alpha 5 when I started playing this game. It's not a showstopper and it's not even something high on their priority list to look at, I'm sure. It's just a slightly irritating bug. Okay, so let's get our... Hmm, you know what? We should probably put that in the fridge. Got a couple of fridges on here. We'll throw this stuff in there. Okay, so let's get... Why did I end up with so much crushed stone? What was I mining? Oh, yesterday. It must have been when I was actually mining. Oh, my drill is getting hurt, too. Well, okay. Well, that's what happens when you use stuff. It gets used. So, it was... Which direction am I facing here? I want to actually make sure. So, I'm facing direction of my gun. I'm facing that way, so the blocks are going to face that way. Uh, I kind of want them to face that way. Okay, so I got to turn my guy to face that way. Where are we? That way. Right there. Come on. Ah, I twisted right when I did that, didn't I? And I'm facing that way. Gosh, stop it. How's that? That's pretty good. That's, that's better. Okay. Okay. So, let's get this started. Now, I want that sunk down more, so that looks pretty good for the depth there. It's a little bit higher than the water, so let's go right there. There we go. We got our base started. <laughs> and I'm actually going to use the concrete, the armored concrete for the bottom part. I think I'm going to extend this out. We got to move closer now. The drone is getting all choked. So let's. I'm not going to extend out into the water much more, so I'll just go over here. Okay. So let's F that and spawn our drone. There's too many critters about. Okay, so let's extend this. That. And I'm not going to worry about the core being exposed because it um, <clears throat> it doesn't matter. There's no there's nothing that's going to pop the core here. It's PVE. There's no POIs. Well, I'm not really worried about tabbing in and out for that stuff. Okay, so now let's drag this across. Oh, it won't drag all the way. Okay, and it's shrinking. Okay, so we'll get as much like that. Okay, and then we'll get that up like that. And then we'll extend this. And 
and that's as far as it'll go. Okay. There's, a, I think there's a block limit or something, because it only lets you place so many before you can't anymore. So, okay. And oh, we're getting into okay. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna have to either raise it up or dig it out. Okay, or we extend out into the water more. That might be the the easier thing. Yeah, we can just extend out into the water more. Um, okay. We're gonna run out of the armored concrete pretty quick here. And there we go. Okay, so let's use our regular blocks. And I'm gonna need to make more. You know what? I can get the HV doing that. So let's go into our mobile constructor, throw the stone in there, and we'll just spin up. I don't know. Another 500. It'll need it. Okay. So we'll let that work at that while we keep placing stuff. So let's extend this. Like so. And like so. I think it needs to be wider. So let's. I'm just getting the base started here. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the entire pad for CV spawning yet. I can do that later. I can just add to it and extend out a pad. And I'm not going to get into big extravagant base building this, this series. I did that last series and it pretty much consumed me. I don't want to do that this time. I want to go and get shot up and die some more, like uh, like last night. <laughs> you guys got to see me die. Okay. Um, so at this point, I think I need to start throwing walls up, right? Get some walls up. How big is this? It's hmm, could be a little bigger, I think. Let's widen this. We'll get this widened. So I want to go three more wide. Because this is going to be kind of a just a garage, a garage uh, smelter. Come on. Come on. Oh my goodness. There we go. So we want to go like that. Okay. And, oh, grass. Darn it. Okay, so we can get rid of the grass, I think, if we just tap on the ground. No. Tap again. Tap. No. Really? Come on, just... Ah! I don't like that. I'm gonna pop these out. Get rid of the grass. Okay, so... If we can just give it a quick zap. Come on. Really? Really? 
can't get rid of the grass. Why isn't the grass going away? Why isn't it disappearing? It's floating? Ah, you gotta be kidding me. Ah, oh, that sucks. So you can't get rid of grass anymore just by doing some mining? No, that's gotta be a bug. Let's see, let's see. Ugh. Or not. <laughs> Here, let's... We can get onto the middle of the pad here now. We can even uh, lower it down. Okay. And then we'll jump out. So why, let me test on this grass here, let me just, is it going to disappear, is it going to disappear? No, apparently it doesn't disappear. Huh, well that's different from how it used to function, you used to be able to just drill the the surface a little bit and it would get rid of it. Now it doesn't. Well, that's really disappointing. So now we're going to have grass in our freaking concrete pad. <sighs> oh, well. Whatever. I'm just going to deal with it. I'll just put my big boy pants on and deal with it. Okay. So let's get some walls up here. I'm just, it's just going to be a box, really. I, um, I don't want to spend a lot of time on decorating this thing or anything like that. So let's just get some walls up. Come on. And you can see how fast we're using up blocks right now. What does our HV have left? It's only made that many. Okay. Okay. Well, that's okay. We're actually let's keep spinning this up. So we need more, obviously. Okay, that'll keep spinning. And we'll keep placing. So right to there. Okay. Okay. We'll get this up. Okay. And get this up. Okay, good. And this up. It's basically going to look like an industrial warehouse is kind of my, what I have plans for here. More up there. Okay. Okay, so we're going to want to come across. Because I'm going to have upstairs. So we want the. We want one, two, three, four, five. So we'll have a seven by five hangar door. That should be plenty. So it'll come up that high. And then 
then that'll be the start of our second floor on top of that. So let's. Now hopefully, I don't have to put any pillars up. We'll see. We'll see. Um, should we do the hangar door off to the side then? Possibly, yeah. No, oh, this looks ugly. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna do a uh, filler and make it so it's not so horrible. And raise that up a little bit. And no, it doesn't take on the other color. See that? Oh well. Okay. So let's. Should we just pull that across? Punch out the. Which way do I do it? Which way do I do it? Okay. Well, let's go get the other blocks for starters. Out of the CV. Okay, I can just go like this. Get my drone. And go into my blocks here. So we need the hangar door. We're gonna need these doors. That grab that. Might as well grab the grow plots. So we'll grab that, that, that. We're gonna need those. And that is a base repair. We don't need offline protection ATM, sure. We'll grab that. We should probably get the oxygen and water down too. Uh O2 station. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> isn't that crazy how many spiders there are? Jeez, <clears throat> it's crazy. Okay, so now... We can just lower this a little bit. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so now do I want it to the side? So if we come in to the side, the other side, so we can have a pillar that way yeah so we're gonna we're gonna have the hangar door on the side yeah so let's do that get this hangar door in so we wanted the seven by five that should be plenty big enough oh Come on. Where is it going to be? It should be. Yeah, that'll be that'll be big enough. Okay, so let's seal this in. We can pop other doors and windows in later. I just want to get this sealed so that uh, I can jump out without getting molested. Oops. Okay, so now we've actually got four walls protecting us. So I can technically jump out if I want to. I don't really need to jump out though because I'm comfortable in 22 degrees air condition HV. Hmm. Hmm. So let's continue with the roof now. So, whoa, 
come on. Yeah, that's what we want. And I'm going to run out of blocks pretty quick here. I know it's just a box, guys. This is not has nothing to do with making it look good. This is just for function, completely and utterly just for function. So we're going to run out of blocks here. But that I like the fact that it stretches all the way across. I think we're going to get lucky here and not have to put up any pillars. Yeah. Okay, let's see where our block crafting is going here. And we're getting more. Okay. It's not the fastest thing. It's only a mobile constructor. So, okay. So, I think what we need to start doing too is get the get the furnace and generator room done. So, if we come in here, we come up to here and So, over this side is going to be all open. Do we actually put the furnace here then? And have it facing this way? And have everything going up in the column? And have just a huge open space there? Or do we... I mean, it's going to be a big open space anyway. Do we do it along the back wall? Do we do it along? I think we do it along the side. So I think we're going to do the furnace over here. So it takes a three by three. So one, two, three. And then we want another cube in front of it. And then we'll start the wall there. Okay, so it's going to go up like this. One. So that's, and then we can go like this. And we'll just okay okay so we'll bring this up and we don't really need these blocks here it was just for visual so we're gonna knock those out because it's gonna be a uh, one, two, three, a four by three, I think, for, wait, what do we got here? We got one, two, three, I think I need to pop that out too. No, three by three, we can put a three by three grade in, that'll be fine. One, two, three, so it'll fit there, and then let's pull some blocks across. Come on. Okay. And then, so we should probably grab that then to figure out, because <clears throat> I might have to just extend this up through the, uh, the second floor. Geez, that dirt looks like a little cancer spot now. Oh, well. Oh, well. Okay. So let's... Should have parked the CV closer. I could bring it closer now, now that I got... Yeah, let's go do that. How are we on time? We're getting we're getting up there now. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab the stuff out of... Or... Yeah. <laughs> let's try this again. So we jump, and then we go like this, and we open the door because it's not powered so it's not going to automatically open. We'll jump back in. Okay. Well guys, I think we'll call it here. I'm going to finish constructing this base. So basically it's just going to look like a box. It's not going to be anything special. Uh, I don't need to make an episode showing you me building a really lame box base. Um, and once that's done, the next episode will be going and maybe exploring with the SV because if you notice, there are a couple other 
sectors, unknown planet and alien planet. So that is unknown sector seven and Alpha Centauri, both within SV jump distance. So I think that's what we're going to do ne next episode is we're going to get the SV prepped for a warp and we're going to go visit these sectors and we'll see what they got because we don't know. So it sounds pretty cool. Uh, okay, guys, if you like this episode, like and subscribe. Next episode, we're going to go exploring. So I'll get this built off, off uh, camera and we'll have a smelting factory to go around and get all these meteorites and get a whole bunch of resources. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to build a base and I'll get a whole bunch of resources. And then uh, we'll, be, we'll be ready to rock and roll. Okay, guys. Uh, you guys have yourselves an awesome day. What's, uh, what are my stats at? 16, so one death, yeah. Okay. Okay, guys, ciao for now.